Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up a local FTP server in Windows 11 and this procedure will work pretty much the same for Windows 10 as well. Now when I say local that's between on your local area network so if you want to have an FTP server that's accessible over the internet you're going to have to do some changes on your uh, firewall router or so on to actually get that to work and that's beyond the scope of this video but like I said this is just if you want to have it between computers on your network or in the office or that kind of thing. All right, so to begin, first we have to install the right uh, feature for this to work. So if you click on here, start, you could search for Windows features, turn Windows features on and off. And then you want to scroll down to Internet Information Services. Make sure FTP servers checked, both of these, and then also check web management tools, which will just check the IS, IIS management console. That's all you need. And click OK, and it'll go through some installation. But mine's already done, so I don't have to have that happen again. OK, so next, you will need to choose a folder or create a folder where you want your FTP files to be stored. I have an extra disk here, too. I just made a folder called FTP files. So that's where I'm going to have my... Uh, file stored and I have a my file kind of test file in there so we could make sure we could see that when we log in. Okay so then next what we need to do is go to the Windows firewall and then right here it says allow an app or feature through the Windows firewall click on that click on the change settings button to make sure so it's not grayed out anymore scroll down to FTP so we need to allow FTP through the firewall. And so we'll just check both these for good measure, public and private. OK, so that's good. So now we need to go into IIS and create our FTP site. So if you just do a search for IIS and then Internet Information Services Manager, and then you'll have your fresh installation there. So under Sites, you just need to right click add FTP site and we're going to call this FTP site and then for the physical path this is the uh, folder that you created or you know in the last step where we're going to store, store our FTP files okay all on assigned IP addresses is fine since this is a local FTP site we want no SSL because we're not doing any security certificates or anything like that click on next and then we want basic authentication because we want to use a specific user. So we're going to use a specific user. But before we do that, we have to create a user because you don't want to have, uh, you don't want to use one of your like admin accounts or anything like that. So to do that, let's go to the settings and windows and then to accounts and then scroll down to family and other users and then add accounts. Now we're going to do a local account. You could use a Microsoft account, I suppose, but we're just going to do a local account because we don't need it tied to an email address or have to worry about making a new Microsoft account. So we're going to click on, I don't have this person sign in information. And add a user without a Microsoft account. We'll just call it FTP. Give it a password. And you have to answer these security questions. Let's just make some stuff up here. Rover. Where was I born? New York. Childhood nickname. Tommy. Okay. And so now we have this FTP local account. So that's good. So that's the one we're going to use here for the specified user. And we're just going to give it write or actually read permissions so it can only read the files and not write files. But you know, you can make that read and write if you want. It's up to you. Click on finish. And now we have our FTP site. So since I already have IIS installed, I should be good to go. But you might have to reboot, you know, to get the services going. So I guess you'll find out. But I would probably just reboot just in case. Okay, so now we're going to go over to the other Windows 11 computer here. Okay, so over on the uh, computer we're going to connect to the FTP site with, I have uh, WinSCP installed. So you could use FileZilla or Command Prompt or whatever you want to do to uh, use for your FTP client. So we're going to create a new session here. 
let's call this, actually we've got to put in the IP address of the host. So well, actually first we're going to change this to FTP. Host name or IP address, we'll use the IP address just for simplicity. So we need to go back over to the other computer. Open the command prompt. Do an IP config. And then we see our IP address is 192.168.150.203. So we just need to plug that in on the client here. And then for username, you need to use the uh, name of the host computer. You can't just put the username. So let me show you. So back over here, if you go to your settings, and then down to about, you see the host name of this computer is Win11 PC. So that's what we got to use. So we do Win dash PC slash FTP, and then the password we came up with for that user. And we'll save this as whatever name we want to give it. So now we have our FTP site. We could click on login. So it's connecting to that IP address and it wants the password. Okay, so now we're in and you can see there's our, here's our local computer here. Here's the FTP site. We have the my file text here and we could drag that over if we wanted to. And so now we have it over here on that site. So anyways, once again, you know, so you just need to, you know, follow along and you might have to watch this a couple times to install the uh, IAS software, configure the firewall, make the user account, make the folder, and make sure everything's good to go permissions-wise and make sure you have the proper uh, username with the computer name slash username. And then that should be good to go. And then you'll be able to access this uh, FTP site over your network from any computer. All right. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.